one-step equations. Here are the steps to solve these problems. Draw a line through the equal sign to create two sides. Always start your work on the side that has the variable. Isolate the variable or get it by itself by doing the inverse operation. Inverse means opposite. What we do to one side of the equal sign, we must do to the other. Then find the solution. The goal in solving equations is to isolate the variable. Let's look at a couple of examples. So if I draw my line through the equal sign to create two sides and always start on the side with the variable. This says v minus 10. The inverse or opposite of that is to add 10. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. Negative 10 and positive 10 cancels out. And v equals negative 9 plus 10 would give me positive 1. All right, let's skip down to number 4 here, since these are both also subtraction. So again, draw your line through the equal sign to create two sides. This says x divided by 5, so the inverse or opposite of division is going to be multiplication. And again, you have to do that to both sides. So if I divide by 5 and then multiply by 5, that get rid, gets rid of that 5 on that side and leaves me with x equals 2 times 5, which is 10. For our last example, again, draw the line through the equal sign and always start on the side that has the variable. This is negative 11 times k, so the inverse or opposite would be to divide by negative 11. If I multiply by negative 11 and divide by negative 11, that cancels out and leaves me with k on the right, and 22 divided by negative 11 would be negative 2. So to recap, here are your steps to solving one-step equations. If you go through each of these steps and follow what I did on the examples, you should be successful in solving one-step equations with integers.